Okay, so have you ever had a logo or graphic that you wanted to use on your site, but it ended up having some ugly white box around your image? Well, here's an easy, quick fix. Okay, so of course it's easy when you start out designing your graphics in Photoshop, because you can just turn off the background layer, save it, and you're done, right? But what about when you don't have that luxury? What about when you have an image that is just a uh, JPEG file or something similar to where you're stuck with no background layer and you didn't design the graphic? Well, let me show you this quick fix that might just fix the problem. When you have a white background and you have a, uh, an image that contrasts very nicely like this one here, it's really simple. First thing you're going to want to do is want to make a copy of this background layer. There's a lot of ways to do this, but one simple way is just to drag it down to this little um, new layer box here. Now, for images like this, the magic wand tool works really well. Simply grab your tool, click on the white space, you'll see all the marching ants are going all around my image very nicely. Uh, now what I like to do, because I'm kind of the instant gratification type, is I'm going to turn off my background layer so that I can see my transparency right away when I um, hit the delete button. And that's all you have to do from here. Just hit delete, and there we can see the image is transparent. Just hit Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC to on, uh, deselect, and there we have it. We have a nice transparent background. Now, if you want to check this, uh, maybe you're unsure, sometimes what I do is um, I'll just create a little box um, around my image. Just say a gray box, just to see uh, a lot my website actually, as you know, is kind of have a gray background. Drag this under the copy you just created, and there you have it. You can see that um, it's a transparent. I can actually take this image and move it anywhere I like. There's no white background, so that's pretty much exactly what it's going to look like when it's finished. Now, what if you have something like a logo? Um, I've got this logo here, and uh, it's a JPEG image. I'm stuck with this ugly white background. There's nothing I can do. Well, same thing. I'm going to do the exact thing. Simply duplicate my layer. Go ahead and turn off the background layer now. Grab my magic wand tool. Oh, I already have it. Okay. Click on the white space, and you'll see everything looks pretty well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit delete. Now, you can see there's a couple spaces, and maybe one in between here. It's really kind of hard to tell if there's anything in between here. So what I like to do is uh, again, deselect here, and I'm going to go ahead and create that gray box once more. Yes, I want that color. Okay, move that below. All right, now we can easily see, yes, we've got a couple spots that we need to fix here. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. And I'm going to just grab that tool again, and I'm going to click uh, right inside this, this spot. Make sure you're on the right layer. I uh, See here I'm in the rectangle layer, so obviously it's not going to give me the option to do that. I need to click on my background copy layer. Click inside the white space. Hit delete. There we go. It looks like there might be a little white left in here, so I'm going to click in there. Yes. Click delete. And there you go. Deselect. Command zero to zoom out. Control zero on a PC. And that looks much better. Now we have a transparent background. Now, the last thing you're going to want to do is to preserve this transparency is you're going to want to save it the correct way. The way you're going to want to do that is choose File, Save for Web, Now, if I were to save in this JPEG mode, this transparency uh, is not going to be preserved the correct way. What you want to do is you want to make sure you choose a ping, which will preserve this transparency. Make sure your transparency box is checked. And that will make sure that your image remains transparent, and then you can do whatever you like with it. Now, that's it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed, please like it or give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, just drop them below. This is Joe from Just Do It Images, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.